Not far from downtown's bright lights, a homeless camp lingers in the shadow of the city. The tents bubble up along Hiawatha Avenue in Minneapolis. If you've driven by them, you may have wondered, how can this happen in our own backyard? Tonight, we asked some of the 200 men, women, and children still living there. Award-winning photojournalist Tom Avillis stayed the night to take us behind the tarps and inside the crisis in Tent City. There's a lot of amazing people here. A lot of people that have so many amazing gifts, but they just don't know where to find their opportunity. I live in this community. I see people that are less fortunate than myself, so I'm helping my people. Because a lot of people don't feel like they're cared about. Why did I come here? Because I've been homeless since I was 15. I feel like I got a lot of potential, but sometimes I doubt that, that insecure, empty feeling I get, you know? We all gotta want the change. Because I'm not giving up. Sometimes I want to. I really do. Volunteer, help out. That's what this community needs. Terrible events have put people here. Mental illness, people's weaknesses, people's hurt. And it sucks because there's people that are selling poison. There's people that are in here that shouldn't be in here. I am an addict. I've been using heroin for almost two years now. What do you do when you don't have the answer? You numb out. You see, it happens so much here. I wake up with an empty hole in my heart. And the only way I could ever get that hole filled was when I consumed heroin. I've narcan 13 people. I've watched two people die. My mom, she always had something to give to everyone. They found her face down in her tent. I helped so try to save her. her. Everyone says it was fentanyl. The percentage was so small. I don't understand how that little amount can kill someone. Of course I want help. Maybe I don't want the help. Maybe I do. I don't know. I'm, it's like a big battle, <laughs> I guess. People actually have to live here. I'm like sick of living here. There's not much to be positive about it with the exception of having someplace safe and comfortable to sleep in. This completely disrupts it. Especially with victim vulnerable adults at that. She was raped. We're supposed to be supporting each other and having each other. Right now, we're trying to keep people warm, keeping people safe. I think the politicians are full of shit, and that's typical. False promises, false hope. I just hope that people that deserve housing gets housing. There's people here with babies that really need the homes. There you go. A lot of the things that's going on around us, people should pay more attention to. Sometimes we come down here and we just give back to the community. It's very important that you help other people because like my grandmother said, you never know where you're going to be in life. Thank you very yeah. much. I'm a small business owner and if I can play a role in helping out somewhat, can you imagine what somebody with, with a lot more money and power can do for these people? It means a lot more when somebody stops and comes in and says hi. When they smile, shake your hand, that means more than anything. That's humanity. A Hennepin County administrator told us health and human service workers do have a significant presence at the camp. It is staffed daily to connect the homeless with health care, addiction medication, and shelter. The city plans to open a navigation center in December. The county will help staff that center for six months. You can learn more about possible solutions for the homeless camp by watching previous stories at wcco.com links.